Hi everyone, today we are going to start chapter number 6, volume. So before we are going to start, let, let's read the definition of volume, that what is volume. Here we have the definition volume. The measure of the amount of three-dimensional space of an object contains. We have liter and milliliter. Here we have liter, a unit of measure of volume where one liter is equal to thousand milliliter. And here we have milliliter, a smaller unit of measure the volume, cis liter. It means we use the smallest unit to measure the liquid is milliliter and to measure the largest unit of liquid is liter. Let's start the worksheet. Page number 161, worksheet 1, volumes in milliliter. So let's simply add the numbers. Here we have the can of bottle 330, 500 milliliter. This is bigger, so 2000 milliliter, and the glue is 25 milliliter. What is the volume of water in each beaker? Here we have to find the volume in each beaker. Now we can easily find the total number is 1 liter and 1 liter means 1000 milliliter. So here is the gap between is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is 900 milliliter. Now again. 1, 2, 200, 1, 100. Now here we have 100 ml. So again we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 70. Here we have 10. Here we have 450. Now again here we have to read the capacity of each container. So in the cup we can add this type of capacity so let's count 100 200 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 60 260 here we have 700 and here we have 20 so the add is 720 worksheet number 2 volume in liter and milliliter here we have simple 1 liter and 350 milliliter Here we have 1 liter, then 3 and then 80. So 380. Here we have 1 and 2. 2 liters, complete 2 liter. And then we have 1, 2, 3 and then this is a 50. So 350. Here we have 1 liter and this is 7 liter, 700 milliliter. Again, we have 1 liter, 500 and 500 milliliter means 1000 milliliter and 1000 milliliter is 1 liter. So, it means 2 liter and 30 milliliter. Here again, we have to write the capacity of the container. The glue cup capacity is 20 milliliter. The can capacity is 320. This is 1 liter, 500 milliliter, 2 liter, 600 milliliter. 1 liter because it is 500 and 500. 1 liter and 100 milliliter. 550 milliliter. Here we have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 550. Here we have 500 and 500,000. And then we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it is 500 means 1250. 1 liter and 190 milliliter. Now, here we simply add the numbers. 6000 plus 250 milliliter is 6205 milliliter. 1 liter means 1000. 1000 plus 200, 1200. 1 liter 30, 1030. 2 liter 5, 2005. Two Here again we have to add the numbers 7, 6, 1000. Now here we are going to separate the liters and milliliters. 1000 means 1 and 190 here. 2002 and 80. 5005 and 1. 5 and 0. 
3000 means 3 and 450 6000 is 6 and 5 now we're going to add 1230 2065 3005 Page number 167, here we are going to solve the what problem? The capacity of a jug is 2 litre. There is 1635 milliliter of milk in the jug. How much more milk must be added to completely fill the jug? So first we have to convert this 2 litre into 2000 milliliter. Now we can easily subtract these two numbers. So the answer is 365. 365 milliliter more milk must be added to completely fill the jug. Number two, the table shows the amount of milk each child drank. Junhao, Tom, and Kate. How much milk do they drink all together? It means we simply have to add all the numbers. Give your answer in liter and milliliter. First, we are going to add all the numbers. When we add all the numbers, so the answer is 400 plus 650. 1050, 1050 plus 540, 1590. Now 1590 converted 1 liter 590 milliliter. <coughs> Here we have a container had 3500 milliliter of water. Some water from the container was poured into bottle A and B. 950 milliliters of water was left after the two bottles were filled. The volume of water in bottle A is 1360. How much water was poured out of the container? What was the volume of water in bottle B? So first, the amount of water and the amount of water filled in the left. So the amount is 2550. 3500 subtract 950. minus 9 and then 2 so the answer is 2550 2550 ml of water was poured out of the container now 2550 minus 1360 because the volume of water in bottle A is 1360 so now subtract these two numbers 0 15 minus 6 9, 1 and 1, 1190 milliliter. So the volume of water in bottle B is 1190 milliliter. Question number 4. A container hold 4 liter of water. Some of the water is poured into 5 bottles until they are full. The capacity of each bottle is 650. How much water is poured out of the container? How much water is left in the container? So first we have to find that how much water we have used. 650 multiplied by 5 because we have 5 bottles. 650 multiplied by 5 is 3250. Now 4 liter means 4000 milliliter. Now we have to subtract the amount of water we use and the amount we have total to find the amount left. 4000 minus 3250. So the answer is 750 milliliter page number 169 what problem number 5 mrs lee poured 3000 milliliters of syrup and 8 mugs of water into a container to make a fruit punch the capacity of each mug was 6000 milliliter what was the total volume of fruit punch mrs lee made give your answer in liter and milliliter so first we simply have to Write the capacity of mug and we have 8 mugs of water. 600 multiplied by 8 is 4800. So it means 4800 milliliters of water pour into the container. Now 3000 syrup and the amount of water. When we add 3000 with 4800 the answer is 7800. So now we have to convert this 7800 into liter and milliliter. 7800. 7 liter 800. Mrs. Lee made a total of 7 liter 8, 800 milliliter of fruit punch. What problem number 6? 
there is 4035 milliliter of oil in a container some oil is used to fill six bottles completely 435 milliliters of oil is left after filling the bottles 4035 minus 435 the amount left so the answer is 3600 3600 of oil is used to fill the bottles now we have six bottles so we are going to find how much oil is filled in each bottle 3600 minus 6 is 600 so the capacity of each bottle is 600 milliliter now here we have mind workout page number 170 a shop sells apple juice in containers 2 liter 3 liter and 5 liter Kate wants to buy 12 liters of apple juice. What are the different ways she can buy the juice? So first we are going to arrange numbers of 5 liter, 3 liter and 2 liters. So if she buy 2 liter, 2 boxes of 5 liter, it means 10 and then 1 liter of 2. So 10 plus 2 is 12. Now if she simply buy 4 boxes of 3 liter, so 4 threes are 12. So it means 12. If she buys 6 boxes of 2 litre, 6 twos are 12. If she buy 2 litres, 2 boxes of 2 litre, 4. And here 1 box, 3. And here 5. 3 plus 4, 7. 7 plus 5, 12. Here she can buy 3 boxes of 2 litre. It means 6. Here she can buy 2 boxes of 3. So it means 3, 2 is a 6 and here she can buy 3, 2 is a 6. 6 and 6, 12. So this is the way to she can buy 12 liter with the different boxes. Review 6, page number 171. Here we simply have to write the liters and milliliters. For the orange juice bottle, liter. Pepsi cans, milliliter. Oil, liter. Milk, milliliter. And shampoo, milliliter. Here we have to find the numbers and write the answers. We have to find the capacity in each beaker and then we are going to write the answers. Same as it is on page number 173, we have to write in milliliters 7,010, 6,340, 3,950, 4,025, 9,300. Here we have to write the liters and milliliters separately. On page number 174, last page of your workbook 3A, we have two different word problems. Number 6, container A has 5 liters of water, container B has 3125 milliliter less water than container A. So we have to subtract the numbers and then add both the numbers so we can easily get the answer. Now here we have question number 7. Mrs. Tan fills 6 cup completely with orange juice. Each cup has capacity of 15, 150 milliliter. The orange juice is then poured equally into four bottles. How much orange juice is there in each bottle? So here is the solution. The capacity of cup is 150 milliliter. Numbers of cup simply 150 multiplied by 6 is 900. Now we have four bottles. So 900 divided by 4, 225. It means 225 orange juice is there in each bottle. So this is the complete explanation of your last chapter, book 3A.